Hello, hello. Welcome back. I am your resident wrestling purist. And today we will be discussing, well, discussing slash going over NXT, the August 17th show. And this is also your, um, your go home show for NXT TakeOver 36. So uh, last little um, show setting the, laying the last ground uh paved road for for this pay-per-view that's coming up so to open the show we we're looking at malcolm bibbins and he is out there with diamond mine and roddy strong and he's kind of running down Kushida about the cahoots of them being in regal's office last week so that's kind of your your starter so he opens up an open challenge to anybody in nxt Lo and behold, out comes Ilya Dragunov. And if, you, again, you haven't been living under a rock, this guy is a complete star. So those two tangle for a little bit, and that's your, uh, that's your opening match. Dragunov goes over, which I think is the right call. Uh, Torpedo Moscow. And after that, he cuts a promo on Walter. I'm calling him out, but we do not see Walter. No answer. Moving on. We get a great package, the video package for O'Reilly and Cole. And again, just giving you the last little bites of the steak here before you, I guess you get your main dish um, come this weekend at TakeOver 36. Really good package, really good. The way they set it up was good. If you've been following these two guys for any amount of time between here, Ring of Honor, and just about anywhere they ever wrestled, Cole kind of always has one up on O'Reilly and it, it's been pretty much the same in NXT, but I will say that I, I'm actually excited to um, watch this match. You know, you, 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 we've seen these guys tangle a bunch of times and wrestle a bunch of times, but uh, WWE does do a good, I mean, they're bar none, probably the best on packages and all this type of stuff. So it was really, really good. Um, no complaints there at all. Next, we have uh, another promo kind of back and forth. Um, Hit Row comes out, and they are showing some of the stuff that happened a couple weeks ago with uh, Legato del Fantasma and how they, they ripped his grill out. And of course, if someone rips your grill out, you have to get it back, apparently. So, uh, Swerve Scott is, you know, cutting his promo, interrupts, uh, Phantasma interrupts him, says, hey, I'm outside. I'm here all by myself. We can tell this like men. Come on out here and get your grill back. Well, lo and behold, he stro strolls on out here. And guess what? There's enemies in Sector 7. It's a trap. So Legato deal Phantasmo. <laughs> Jumping them, next thing you know, here comes the rest of Hit Row. And we've got ourselves a good old impromptu uh, street fight, schmaz. It's all one big um, brouhaha. Everybody's fighting out, you know, outside, throwing people into bay doors. Um, to make a long story short, uh, Swerve Scott gets his grill back, and I guess you're, you're, they left us leaving, wanting a little bit more, but you're all ready to rock and roll to NXT TakeOver. Uh, 36. From there, moving forward, we see L. L. A. Knight, and he's with Cameron Grimes there in a gym. L. A. Knight's getting that last little bit of his gains in, I guess, getting that work in. And uh, you know, they kind of pan over, and there's a, a gentleman there, Josh Briggs, and Grimes goes to the side to get him a water, a towel, or whatever he's getting him. And Knight says to Mr. Briggs, you'll get $5,000 before the match. You'll get $5,000 after the match. And don't question that L.A. Knight because his money is good. Well, cut to the match. Here we go. So out comes Grimes. Out comes Mr. Josh Briggs, the hired assassin. And we also have Ted DiBiase, um, the million-dollar man, uh, um, well, kind of on commentary, but, you know, at ringside with the commentator. So here comes LA Knight. Those guys are wrestling. He's out there. And next to you know, Mr. DiBiase says to LA Knight, 
hey, you want to double or nothing? And Knight says, yeah, sure, why not? So now you got $20,000 on a bet. Next thing you know, here comes Cameron Grimes, house of fire. He goes over Josh Briggs, and that's that. LA, I'm sorry, L.A. Knight is 20, 20 grand in the hole. And that's, that's that. Now we're getting into some of the stuff that I don't necessarily like. You have the Garganos, this Brady bunch of Garganos that are going on. Pretty much they're still pushing the storyline of um, Indy and Dexter Loomis, how they're in love, so on and so forth. So they have a mixed tag match. So said mixed tag, mixed tagged max, excuse me. Um, so that's coming later on down the pike. And then you get another quick little flash to a promo on Zoe Starks and Io Shirai, your women's tag team champions of NXT. And they're just explaining how they're trying to work on their chemistry. And that was the end of that. So in the mixed tag match here, you get Robert Stone and Jesse Kama. And they are facing, like I said, Andy Hartwell and Dexter Loomis. So they come out, they're doing their match, they're rocking and rolling. And Beth Phoenix kind of is looking at Indy Hartwell and you're thinking, what's going on? So to make a long story short, those two uh, go over. So Dexter and Indy Hartwell win. And then after the match, Indy goes outside to Beth Phoenix. And Beth Phoenix is or something. And you're thinking, what in the world is that? And before you know it, she is uh, down on one knee proposing to Dexter Loomis and he doesn't speak obviously, but he nods his head and we, and they, and, she, and he says, yes. So now you have an engagement. And if you guys know me, you know that I am a sucker for a wrestling wedding because we all know what happens at wrestling weddings. So, yeah. So that was a interesting um, match slash rolling into segment. Next up is a split screen um, between Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. And they're pretty much just talking trash to each other about their match at TakeOver 36 and how she's a backstabber. And without Dakota Kai, Raquel would be nothing. Same old stuff. But I guess we'll see come, uh, come uh, NXT TakeOver 36. Um, we also have the semifinal to the NXT breakout tournament. We have... Carmelo Hayes and Duke Hudson. All right, so pretty good match. Carmelo Hayes goes over Duke Hudson, and the winner would face Odyssey Jones um, in the final. So lo and behold, Carmelo Jones, I'm sorry, Carmelo Hayes, he goes over. So he's the guy tasked with taking down Mr. Odyssey. After that, he goes up the ramp. Mr. Odyssey comes out and says hey you know it's time to get it on and that's that's kind of it and then we have this weird uh, i wouldn't say it's weird but a i don't know 45 second vignette we have jc jane uh james james and she's pretty much just um uh, saying people are going to pay people are going to recognize so you know we'll see what comes comes about the next couple weeks after that we have the million dollar man. He's backstage with Cameron Grimes and Cameron Grimes has got ice on his neck. Um, and I, and it kind of maybe reverse psychology here. Ted DiBiase says, you know, I, I don't know if you, you know, I, I kind of did this to you, Cameron Grimes, and maybe, you know, maybe we shouldn't do this. Cameron Grimes does his little hawk up and says, no way, man, you know, we're going to beat L.A. Knight and he's going to owe us everything. Now, your next wrestling match, you're looking at MSK versus Imperium, the purest. I love me some Imperium. Um, back and forth match, um, MSK go over, uh, but a little bit of smiles here. So you have Walter who comes out and kind of tries to interfere with the match and, you know, tries to get in the way of MSK, but Dragunov comes out and, and, you know, they have a little mini dust up, a little run in. Um, so MSK actually gets the win. And then after that, Walter goes haywire. He's beaten 
everybody up and and dragon off gets in there and he chokes he chokes him out so walter you know kind of standing tall at the end of you know, their little uh segment there setting everything up for take 36 which which should be an absolutely amazing match walter dragon off too can't wait um many a little vignette again Pete Dunn, Ridge Holland, and they're pretty much doing kind of a, the same promo that Ciampa and Thatcher did next week, saying, hey, it's on, it's on, and they're ready to rock and roll. Now you get to your main event, which really isn't a, uh, is a match. It's Joe, it's Karrion Cross. need I say more? Same deal, Joe comes out, and tells you why he's gonna hurt Cross really, really bad. Cross moseys on down to the ring and says, hey, well, I have security. And it's not it's not for him. It's for the protection of Joe. And you guys and gals know how these things end up. So what do we have? A giant smaz. Everybody, well, not everybody, excuse me. Cross and Joe are, are busting each other up pretty good all over the arena. Bodyguards um, are falling all over the place they're breaking through barriers they're breaking through the little cage little pieces the plexiglass um pretty much laying the seeds for this this these two bulls locking up this weekend at nxt takeover 36. and that kind of concludes the show it was it was more um like i said the go-ahead show it was more setting everything else up for you know what you're going to have this weekend um not a bad show usually uh, i would expect a little bit more from the go the go home show but you know not terrible so i'll take it um again tell me what you guys think put it down in the comments you guys know where to find us and that will be the conclusion of our little nxt video here and don't forget you're not going to put yourself over Nobody else will. Have a good evening.